The very best group that I ever saw when I was in high school and doing college was Colette Navache. And it, you watched them and it was, how did they, that, that sh, that's impossible. You know, and then their shows were so cool and it was just this level of performance that we just couldn't wrap our brain around. Also in that mix was, I mean, Mountain Zion was, has always been on the front edge of, of things. Um, certainly Dwight Jordan's impact can't be minimized. It's, he's, he's been at the forefront of that. I've also recently, uh, certainly, the older I get, the more I appreciate the things that were older. Um, I think my favorite one I watched was Mount Zion because they have a ton of energy and I really liked their set. It was like their costumes were super cool and I liked their theme, so probably one of my favorites. I loved watching Twinsburg. They were super good and I also loved watching Decatur. They were both really good. They were both mixed groups and I feel like um, Twinsburg kind of reminded me a little bit more of Carmel. Like we had like a really like big production value and like we had like the really glitzy costumes and like like really went all out and Decatur was a little bit more like down to earth but they both were just so fun to watch. They both like you could tell they loved what they were doing. They loved each other. They loved performing and they really just put on really good shows. Accents has been a really forward-moving women's choir, especially this year with the amount of success that we've had, um, especially being like one of the top show choirs like in a whole rank at a competition, like with the, including the mixed choirs. We've done really, really well, and um, we've defeated a lot of the stereotypes put on women's choirs, like groups of women. Um, we have a lot of fun together, and we work really, really hard together to prove everybody wrong and to prove ourselves and be, you know, a really strong group of women. Lafayette Jefferson back in the day when I was growing up was another sh show part that just did amazing things and their access to the engineering community at Purdue and really pushing the boundaries of what staging should be and putting hydraulics there and different effects and just going beyond the singing and dancing and none of that would have happened without Lafayette Jefferson. Now, they're not a name right now in terms of a huge powerhouse, but they certainly have contributed a lot more. I will say, though, that in terms of my years here at Carmel contributing to widespread popularity, do I, I, I don't care about my impact, but what I love is that this program that was so strong 40 years ago, that defined what competitive show choir should be, when show choir competition started, when Bishop Lures became a thing, Carmel won, and won, and won, and won. And when Carmel stopped winning was when people figured out how to do what Carmel did. But everybody knew who Carmel was. Everybody wanted to be at that level. Everybody wanted to be an ambassador. When they walked into a gym after the performance, even that was an event. And in what I've loved about my time here is I think that I've contributed at least a little bit to bringing the ambassadors back on the national stage. And I think that that's important for this school. I think that this school is on the national stage in so many levels. When you have an incredible group, what do you do the next year? And there's always the, how are you going to top that year? In, in early, I won't say super early on, but probably four or five years into my career, I decided just to not, not ever try to top the previous year. And that's what led me to doing different things every year. Whether that has contributed overall, I don't know. I, with all due respect, I don't know that I care if it's contributed because it served the goal that I had for my kids. And that was... You don't have to worry about being compared to last year. You're totally different. And if this show missed the mark, then that's my fault. That's not your fault. You still did it really well. And so it started to take pressure off of some, some areas where a lot of times you look at groups, you know, for example, Ronzi Valley and their win streak that came to an end this year and all the drama that was surrounding that. Well, when they're doing similar things year after year after year after year, similarly, Tom Clinton has done similar things year after year after year and you can name all those groups, then you're going to start to be compared. You know, well, this year's Wabonzi Valley soundtrack wasn't as good as last year's. Well, I guess you could try to compare that. I don't think it's, I don't think it's fair to do that to any students. And luckily, my students haven't had to have that comparison because how are you going to compare Come Sail Away to Willy Wonka? You can't. It's like comparing John Burroughs with Clint. Good luck.